Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Shumash Radiology. Today in this video we are going to learn about pneumothorax. Before that I would like to tell you that if you are newcomer to my channel please like, share and comment and never forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, now let's move forward. What is pneumothorax? Pneumothorax is the presence of air in the intrapleural space. Now look at this image. This is the chest schematic diagram. Here is the lung tissue. Okay. And here is the chest wall. Now pleura is the covering of the lung. It has two layers. One layer is over the lung parenchyma. And other layer is on the inner side of the chest wall. Okay, now this outer layer is called visceral, uh, sorry, parietal pleura, and the inner layer what, that is overlying the lung tissue is called visceral pleura. Now the space in between them is the intrapleural space. Normally, no air is present in this intrapleural space. Minimal amount of lubricating fluid is present over the art. Now what is the normal pressure in this intrapleural area? Normally at the end of expiration the intrapleural pressure is minus 5 centimeter of water that is equally equal to 3.67 millimeter of mercury and on the other hand at the end of inspiration this intrapleural pressure is minus 10 centimeter of water that is roughly equal to 7.35 millimeter of mercury so normally intrapleural pressure is negative because normal atmospheric pressure is 76 0 millimeter of mercury that means 760 millimeter of mercury now, what is the effect of accumulation of air in this intrapleural space? Gradual compression over the lung tissue resulting into gradual volume loss, volume reduction, not loss, volume reduction, okay, and variable degree of collapse thereafter, eventually tra tracheal shifting to the opposite side and mediastinal shifting to the opposite side. Clinically, patient may present with complaint of pleuritic chest pain, cough, shortness of breath. Now, where the air will accumulate? In erect position, air will be accumulating on the lateral aspect of the chest wall. But in supine position, the air will tend to accumulate anteriorly. Now look at these two extra films on the in this image this is absolutely normal chest x-ray but here what you can see you can see a thin thin white dense line and you can see here lung fields but lateral to this lung thin line can you see any lung parenchyma on left side you can see lung parenchyma what is in this area so what is in this area in this area air has been accumulated so this is a case of pneumothorax now, what are the extra findings we can have? Number one, a short, thin, white line representing the visible visceral pleural edge. This line, white line, dense white line, it is representing the collapsed edge, lateral edge of this collapsed lung. Okay. 
Number two, no long markings visible distal to this line. No long markings can be visible to the distal to this line. Okay. Number three, peripheral space is more radiolucent and compared to the adjacent lung fields. This, this is the medial area and this is the peripheral area, lateral area. This peripheral area is more radiolucent, that means more dark, darker in compared to this medial area. Okay, this is another findings. Now, variable degree of, sorry, variable degree of collapse of the lung already I have said trachea shifting I have said before the trachea look at this image here this is the normal lung fields okay this is the normal lung fields trachea is in the midline here is pathology but trachea is not shifted Tra trachea is normal position but in this image trachea is shifted to other side what is here here is the pneumothorax it is causing shifting of the trachea towards the opposite side finally it can lead to mediastinal shifting and flattening of the diaphragm here look, here look at this image here is the large pneumothorax here, here is your beautiful heart which is getting shifted to the opposite side okay this is mediastinal shifting and here this is the right dome of diaphragm this is the left dome of diaphragm normally right dome of diaphragm should be at higher level than that of left one but in this case right dome of diaphragm is displaced downward this is flattening of diaphragm now come to the point deep sulcus sign what is deep sulcus sign Deep sulcus sign is a dark lateral sulcus where the chest wall meets the diaphragm. The amount of lung tissue is less in this area, so small amount of air will tend to darken the area, making it more prominent. What is the significance? Significance is in lateral decubitus, in supine decubitus, small amount of air that is that has been accumulated over here will be visible okay in emergency department it is very very crucial this is known as the deep sulcus sign this is the lateral wall here should be the diaphragm small amount of air present over here will be picked up an x-ray even in supine position in emergency department patients are usually in supine position what about maybe the cause in supine position, small amount of air over this area can be easily picked up in X-ray. And this is the deep sulcus sign. Disclaimer, this video is not meant for medical advice. This is only for educational purposes. For medical advice, please consult your doctor. Thanking you.